everybody. I've got me van back. Yes! Get in the sack, as they say. Uh, I've just seen the Google streetcar van. Uh, it's a colourful looking thing, so greens and pinks and whites and all sorts of things. There's big, huge, sort of like weird football y looking things stuck on the top. Uh, I've seen that for a long, long time. It must be about four years since I've seen that. And even then, it was parked in a lay-by down south somewhere when I was going to watch the motor racing. Yeah, anywho, yeah, it's, um, had a bit of a better night's sleep. Although, after three o'clock this morning, I think I was waking up every sort of hour. Uh, I don't know why, just waking up and lying awake for a couple of minutes, then falling back asleep, then waking up an hour later. And I was, you know, just one of those unbroken sleep. So I'm still a bit tired, but a bit more sleep than I had yesterday. Uh, it's quite a hot day today, uh, and it's going to be hotter than yesterday. So it should be a nice drive out because I'm away up to the North Pennines today. Uh, be a nice drive. Hopefully, my van will be okay. It's the first day it's been back on the road since coming out of the garage, so yeah, hopefully, hopefully it'll be okay. Uh, that's pretty much it. George has had a grandma's, so, yeah, the grandparents, sorry, because there we are on holiday tomorrow, so she wants to spend the day with them, which is totally understandable. Okay, sometimes, but I yeah, get a bit sick of your own company sometimes. <laughs> but uh, I'll get away for the moment and catch you a little bit later on. Well, guys, I've just pulled over my normal place <laughs> when I come up here. Got me coke. Um, yeah, I'm sweating, absolutely sweating. Uh, gotta go for me run up to North Pennines now. I'm just so I'm just having. Five minutes before I go blasting up there because it takes half hour of like roads are slight like that so and up and down the hills yeah, yeah it's like that so I'm gonna have myself a little break just before I go tackling that this half hour there and half hour back before I get back onto the main roads. Uh, yeah, it's. Uh, I was gonna say something. I completely forgot what it was. <laughs> it's gone. We ever get moments like that where you think, yeah, I need to need to say something, then it just goes, nah, go on. Oh, I tell you what, I'm looking forward to my day off tomorrow. Uh, I hope the weather's like this. So I can maybe sit out or go somewhere with Georgia or whatever, you know. So, but I intend to having a bit of a lie in. Just a little bit. And be racking my brains what I could do with Georgia if, I could, if there's anywhere we could go. And I can't I can't think of anywhere. Hmm. I'll keep I'll I'll keep thunking. I'll keep thunking about it. Yeah, just sort of bring you along here to point the camera this way so you can see where we're going. I was discussing after watching one of these the other day, I was discussing with Denise about doing a a live stream sometime. Now, would anybody be interested in that if me, Denise and George had done a live YouTube stream? We've never done it before. Um, we'll probably be terrified doing it in case nobody turns up or anything like that, you know. We'll obviously try and give a bit of notice or try and plan it go right, it's going to be happening at this time. Uh, but yeah, yeah, it'll probably be good fun. But let us let us know in the comments if you'd be interested in in us doing a doing a live stream. Good fun. Yeah, it's a, it's a lovely day as you can see. Lovely, beautiful day up here in, uh, in Northumberland. I think I've uh, actually been trying to work the time out. I think I'm actually a lot better for time than what I thought I was. So, it's not too bad. I can sort of ease off a bit and relax and enjoy the drive. One 
thing I have fun when, when I've been doing this job, especially up here, there's loads of little places you never knew existed and you know, places to park up and enjoy the view or things like that, you know. It's one good thing about this job, to find all these little hidden places. <laughs> thing you've ever done and if you're willing to you can actually describe it tell us about it tell us about the situation um, again I can't think of one the, apart from one where probably just me being stupid on holiday in Bioga and got up, got up on stage and in Denise's bra, in bra in Denise's blouse actually I did have a bra Denise's blouse, bra, skirt, everything like that. And there was me and some other guys done it. But I had to, had to do sing a song as well. Pick one song and the one I picked was uh, was it Happy Birthday Mr. President Marlon Munro. Yeah, that's what I did. And Georgia actually cried <laughs> when just seen it. She was very young, I can't remember she was like five or something like that. But when I, when I went closer after the show, I went up to her and she started crying. I was like, oh, this, this get up and a black curly wig and everything on. I make a, I make a horrific woman. <laughs> well, yeah, she actually cried. Oh, mind you, the, the Spanish waiters, <laughs> they, they were looking at us guys dressed like this with some, you know, as if, uh, as if we were strange or something like that. Obviously not getting the English sense of humour. I don't know if they'll catch it. You get on your side of the road, maybe. Yes, yeah, pretty narrow. Yeah, it's like a little ball necklace at this part. There you go, like that. It's the first time I've actually met a car there. Um, well, there's a, a very steep bank coming up. I don't know if you I don't know if the, the camera will do it justice, obviously, because you're tilting down as well as the van. No, it's a 20% 20, 20 drop, apparently. 20, well, nice percent, so it'll be degrees. Yes. Yeah, he's going down on his brakes, he's obviously not very confident of this hill. So this is a lovely little village we're coming into called Blanchland. Um, anybody who's got younger children uh, might have seen a program called Wolf Blood. Wolf Blood. Uh, part of that was filmed up here. A lot of the forest scenes were filmed around this area. Uh, but there's a cafe on this, I think it's the second series. I don't know, second or third series. Just to the left as we're getting up to the T-junction along here. I don't know, we've done a vlog here oh, six or seven months ago in the churchyard on the left hand side there. It's a lovely little cafe in the church on the right. This guy, this oh this, sorry, this lady looks like she does in the foggiest where she's going. Yeah, just just through that archway there. That's uh, where that cafe is on the on the wolf club. Lovely area. But I don't know what it is, it just my mood. My mood has just gone wrong. And I didn't ring the doctors this morning to try and get an appointment for tomorrow. Let's see how I feel tomorrow morning. I might uh, ring the doctors and see if I can get a doctor to ring me. I haven't been able to get an appointment. See 
see how I feel. I'm home. Thank the Lord. Thank you. What a day. I am absolutely goosed. Absolutely goosed. Yeah, it's been one of those days. I am so glad I'm off tomorrow so I can try and hopefully have a good sleep tonight. And, uh, catch up on some sleep. heard um, a different note. I was speaking to Mark Cohen before and he was saying that from Thursday, this little mini heat wave we're having, is supposed to go and we're going to be having thunderstorms and 50 mile an hour wind and all sorts of things. Ooh, brilliant. <laughs> I say I don't mind the heat during the day. I really don't mind it. To sit in a van with no air con, you know. Um, yeah, it's the night time. I can't, I can't deal with the heat. I do not like sleeping when it's too hot. And um, Frank Ben's gonna go looking for a bird. Mm. Got one. He got one this morning as well. Mm. I was getting ready. I'd only just got out of the shower uh, or the bath. I was looking clean, and I heard all sorts of commotion downstairs. And Frank Ben had a baby pigeon. It's a strange looking thing. <laughs> Didn't look like your average day pigeon. But um Denise was saying it's a feisty thing, like you know, so I just went and picked it up. Flew out my hands once, so I jumped out my hands. But I managed to get it the second time. Uh whether it's still alive, I don't know. We'll put it in the normal place in the in amongst the weeds and bushes outside so the cats couldn't see it. Um Hopefully it recovered enough to be able to fly away. Why's a little flipping ninja he is? The birds, and he doesn't go for the little small spuggies and things like that, and bluebirds. And, no, no, it's got to be for the full on magpies and pigeons and crows and everything. Yeah. Show off he is. <laughs> um. hmm. Yeah. Uh. So I was just saying about something that happened at work, I can't really go into it, but it was quite funny. Sorry, um, cut that out. Just ignore me, I'm just talking crap. <laughs> oh, look forward to them getting home. Good evening, everybody. Hello. It's very dark. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> I need a light across here. Uh, Move one of them bulbs. Uh, yeah, so we've had tea and she's mm. home. It's the first time we've seen her since she's come home. Yes, good day. Good day, I'm pleased to be home. Good, good. Nice and busy for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah, we had a lovely chicken tikka masala. Mm -hmm. Yes, chicken. Okay. It was very nice indeed. Yes, very tasty. Um, but we've got some questions. We're, so yes. we're, we seem to be building up a, a list, of quite a few questions. So we we'll better get a, get a few out of the way. So, right. So this is from Kelly Cockcroft, oh. and this is for Steve, Denise, and Georgia. But unfortunately, Georgia's upstairs and she's watching vlogs or whatever. Um, what would be your go-to karaoke song? What song gets you singing along or up? Dancing without fail, or would be that one song you feel you could nail a karaoke. Oh, well, my dancing days are over. Yeah, <laughs> and I sound like a wheeling cat when I sing, <laughs> so it's not very often I can bum karaoke. Uh, I do though. Like, you normally, do. Take, normally takes us a while to pluck up the courage to get up, but once I'm up, <laughs> you can't get us off the stage. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know, um, Elton John, your song by Elton John. Um, Candle in the Wind by Elton John, Daydream Believer by the Monkeys. Um, oh God, what else? I keep I can hear them on the radio when I'm in when I'm in the car with with Georgia. I go, oh, it's one of my karaoke songs. Oh, I remember when we were on holiday once we both got up and sang. Did but it? I can't remember what song it was. I can't. 
Not bad. Yeah. Uh, but have I done the new wet 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 on karaoke? Might have done somewhere somehow. I wet wet wet. Uh, and get up and dancing. I used to get up and dance at all sorts, mate. Mainly pop stuff like eighties stuff and yeah. yeah. Put eighty songs on that'll be me on the dance floor, you know. But, uh, I'll dance to anything. Yeah. Love dancing. Yeah, I was I thought you were gonna say what your what your moves are called. But <laughs> it's probably best you don't. Your, your shoes. Uh. <laughs> no. <laughs> probably probably get strike against us for if you just got a a certain move and it's got a certain name, but yeah. we'll probably end up with a strike for off <laughs> on the channel, but uh, but you, what always gets you jiggling recently is uh, jiggling. Well, you know, his dad, his dad's dance, <laughs> um, that uptown funk. Yeah, you see the dance along with that. Yeah, uptown funk. Yeah, yeah, love that song. But uh, you can put any music on for me, and I'll just be up and dancing, and well, pretty much the same for me. Well, apart from like rap. <laughs> you know none of this modern rubbish I like yeah. disco that's why I like oh, listening to David Howard on yeah, Saturdays disco, like... disco is class like disco you know 70s and 80s and stuff like that and, and it, some of the 90s but after that I just start going to pot so I don't think I would nail anything on karaoke it's bugging me. I know there's more karaoke songs I used to sing, but I cannot think what the hell they are. Have you not sang Mustang Sally? <gasps> yes, I have. <laughs> I sung that in a pub in Edinburgh. I've done quite well. That, that was the same night I made myself ill, drinking Guinness while I was on medication. Um, Never again. But I've done that in Spain. And I had two backing singers as well. Yes, two, three, did, yes. three backing singers, was it? Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. And I got complimented off people that were there saying it was really good. Like total strangers coming up saying how much they enjoyed it. Had a few beers before Andrew. Of course. <laughs> but, but I still hit those gross notes at Andrew's strong hits. Yeah. yeah. I can nail Mustang Sally. No bother whatsoever. And that sounds wrong, but you know, I meant the song. Um, hey, this is. So thank you, Kelly. Yeah, thank you. And this next one's Denise Williams. <laughs> He's just going to call you that from now on. <laughs> Denise Reynolds. Um, do you believe in reincarnation? If so, who or what would you want to come back as? And that's for Georgia as well. Oh, I can't tell you the one I was going to say the other day. I couldn't, the other day I came up with one. I couldn't say it because Georgia was there. But now I can't say it because you're there. <laughs> cover, cover your ears. For me. <laughs> I don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, I don't. I don't know if I believe in it or not. I'd like to think so. And that, but what would I come back as? I don't know if it would be an animal or another person. I think I'm thinking something like a wild animal where away from any people and away from hunters and things like that where you can roam free and you know but I'm just trying to think what mm. or an eagle eagle like they're done in scrub uh, like an eagle so you can soar above the mountains and things like that possibly mm. possibly probably probably some type of animal but I'm not too sure about a polar bear, because you can get to stand on top of a glacier mint. Yeah. So I feel like feeling a bit like you want a bit of a sweet taste or whatever. You can just lick the mint. He's going off on a rant now. Just ignore him. The fox's he's glacier mint and the type. polar bear used to stand on top of it. He's been in this mood all night. Just... <laughs> Hello, Georgia. Hello. I'm trying to think what I said before. It was quite funny. Ah, yeah. Well, I but obviously you thought it was really funny. But I did it with that quick. I was like that. I was, yeah. You admitted it. Only because I, <laughs> I bugged you. So sorry, Denise. I don't think we'll be the answer at that very Sorry, well. yes. Um, she's eventually come down. There she is. 
Uh, yeah, so I, I would say either an eagle or like an animal in the in the wild somewhere. Reincarnation. When you come back as the after you die, come back as something else. Come back as something else. And if so, what would you want to come back as, or who? Person or animal? And what did you say? An eagle or an animal in the wild or something. Okay. Um. I do believe that like people can come back as like ghosts and that. This, this is reincarnation though, like, as something else. As something else. Not a ghost. Reincarnated. No. Okay. Well, you don't think. Fair but if, but you if, d- the, if, a, if it could... What would you come back as? I don't know. I have to think about... I don't know if it's to be like a cat or a dog and have an easy life. Hmm. Or a strange one would be a dolphin. Okay. But I think I would rather be a dog or a cat. Just be easy and I sleep. Sleeping, clean, cleaning yourself. Eating. Eating, pulling, weighing. <laughs> so pretty much what you do now then? No, cats don't have to go to school, have a job. Ah, uh, you see, that's it. There earn you money. Go. Anything that doesn't involve having to go to school. Right. Okay, okay, then. So th- thanks for that, Denise. Yes, thank you. Keep up the singing. Um. Right, oh, so this one... Is for Georgia. Oh, for so Dor- 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 Yes, for Dor- Dor- So this is from ah, David Dor- Howard. <laughs> um, what does Georgia think of e cigs and smoking? Has she tried it? Question mark. Um, tried smoking or e cigarettes? Have Either. you tried smoking or e cigarettes? And what do you think of smoking and e cigarettes? <laughs> Come up a bit so we can see you. Can't see you down there, Georgia. I know, but my leg really is. I know. I get, I get leg problems, so. Yes, growing pains. Yeah, you can't keep them out of the fridge. <laughs> Shut up. Get the, get a cushion. Right. Hello. Right, so first of all, what do you think of smoking? And e-cigarettes. I don't mind e-cigarettes because does what is it that cigarettes have in that e-cigarettes don't? So is it nicotine? Oh, oh, like Obviously nicotine that. the e-cigarettes just have nicotine, they don't have all of the bad things that cigarettes Formaldehyde have. Formaldehyde and stuff like that because no? there's like hundreds of chemicals in a cigarette. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't think that like e cigarettes are too bad because they're too healthy that cigarettes and that. So, mm-hmm. but I'm not a keen on like cigarettes and that. What mm. did he used to say to me and Dad when we both smoked? Nothing. <laughs> he used to say, "Please stop." Because yeah. I know it that you can get some. like lung cancer and like kidney problems. Those sorts of bad things. Uh huh. Yeah. I know, I know it's real, but I know that from, you know, e-cigarettes, you know, e-cigarettes, you can get, like, popcorn to blow up on it. I haven't heard of that, so I don't know what that is, but... It's like when you've got, like, you know, like, dots all over your, your lungs or something, from the e-cigarette. Yeah, but from what I've heard, that's from, like, all the, like, the dodgy liquids that have stuff in there where people make them in the bedrooms and things like that and the, there's things in there which ha- haven't been s- tested. I learned that at school about it, for e-cigarettes. And have you ever <laughs> tried it? I haven't tried smoking. Have you tried an e-cigarette? Have you? <laughs> I don't want to say. Well, you obviously have then. <laughs> when did you try that? <laughs> tried mild and I choked. Did you? Mm-hmm. You haven't told me that. It's news <laughs> to me. And I choked on it. You didn't like it? No. I choked on it. Our, our cousin who doesn't smoke tried it once and he ran to the bathroom and spewed up. Mm-hmm. That was so funny. <laughs> and when I was younger, I think 
I can't remember how old I was, but I came home and because I told my mum and dad everything, I said to him, I said, well, my friends were smoking, so I tried it. And did granddad not make you sm smoke a whole pack yeah, of cigarettes? Let dad, her tell the story. Oh, sorry. Yeah, so my <laughs> dad said, right, sit down. And if you can smoke that whole cigarette, yes. inhaling everything without throwing up, then you can smoke. Didn't get I didn't get a couple of puffs and I was ill so um I, I didn't smoke until I was twenty five. When you were with Paul. When I was twenty five, that's when I stupidly started smoking. Mm. But but we'll try it and oh, can I say something? Mm. I would like one day for us to like not be on the e cigarettes as well, like mm -hmm. just like totally stop like cigarette and e cigarette. Mm -hmm. Well, that was the whole idea. Yeah. And, right, so, David's next question. Do you think you would recognise any of your followers if they walked past you in the street? What, if I knew what they look like? Yeah. Maybe it's Elaine Jones, but then again, I've seen a couple of people already that I, th I thought was Elaine and it wasn't. Um... <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, same as Simone, I've seen a few people that look like Simone. Um, Pink Floss 86. Obviously it's not her because they're up here. Um, I think I would recognise a few if we were in the, uh, obviously in the same area, but we're not. But um, obviously I'd recognise Steve's dogs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, probably um, John Harrison. Yeah. No. Oh, well, no, Mark, no. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. It's, it's, it's funny, like. though, because, like, when you watch them on the screen, mm -hmm. and then, obviously, if it's in a diff different environment, you might not recognise them because yeah. you're not expecting like, to see them. And, and, and plus, as strange as it sounds, as daft as it sounds, a lot of people you see on the screen, you only see up to like the chest height or whatever. But when you see the full person, it just it just seems completely different, you know. It's like <laughs> so, yeah, possibly. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I think that's what I made. I think that was the that was the last one. Right, so, so yeah, we still have a few more questions. We we'll have um, we're not Charlotte, Georgia's friend Charlotte. And I think there was... Oh, we've got a few. The some of somebody else. Who... Yeah, you should just so... do a whole queue, you? <laughs> and that's what I was thinking. Yeah, but thank you very much for sending them in. Yes. Kelly, Nice, and David. That was David Howarth, that last one, by the way. Yeah. So thank you very much for them. I'll be listening on Saturday before I go out. Yeah, she's out on Saturday night, so <laughs> need something to get her up and going. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> David's good, he play some disco and everything. Yeah, so. what's that um, <sighs> Any news? No? Before we go? No, I don't think so. Oh, I'm off tomorrow, by the way. Uh, <laughs> any news? You got anything to say? No, not really. I've got new school stuff to do. Yeah, oh. I've got some new school shoes, trousers, socks, things like that. And she farted in the changing room Dad! With, with her grandmother in Dad! there with her and, oh. and, and stood in front of the door so her grandmother couldn't get away. <laughs> <laughs> you just love to embarrass a girl. That's, my, that's that. my girl. I'm a bloke. Us blokes fart. <laughs> yeah, we, we enjoy it. And I wore makeup today. You did? Mm -hmm. you, don't need to, to, you don't need to tomorrow. No. So. I took it off and I'm having it tomorrow. Yeah, good, good. Right, so yeah, I think that's it. So thank you very much for popping by. Somebody's obviously ready for bed, you know, but she'll still be up at midnight. <gasps> if I've, anybody uh, watches EastEnders, how do you oh. think? How do you think Locked Dead in the Precepts of a Storage Room? Dun dun dun! Do 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 do!
Okay, if you watch EastEnders, who do you think locked Babe in the storage room? Right, that's the question from Georgia. <laughs> um, question but the from question for, that I've already given them, and I want to hear what yours are. What? What's the most embarrassing thing you've ever done? And that's apart from marrying your ex-husband. Ooh, that's nasty. <laughs> that's a nasty boy. What's the embarrassing? Oh, God, I've probably got loads. You probably have, yes. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, mate. I know one, but I don't okay. want to say. What was the one when I went out for a really nice meal to... <laughs> oh, that posh restaurant. A restaurant called Carluccio's in Newcastle town. Quite nice. And we'd had a lot of drink and that. I wasn't drunk, drunk, but I this was married. This is with our workmates, not me. Yeah, family. and obviously with um, I was paying with the company card at the end of the night, and um, the when you put the card in, it came Can't up. What was it? It came up. With gratuities, and I just totally misread it and said, What's gravity? Why am I paying gravity? And she, the girl looked at us like that as if to say, What the heck is she on about? And then Gra- gravity, yeah. And then obviously, I realized what it was and quickly paid and <laughs> ran out. <laughs> she wants but to pay for gravity, <laughs> but that's just only one. Of the many embarrassing yeah, things. Yeah, she does them every now um, and then. <laughs> done that thing and then I don't remember when I went to a meal and just, she was like, why am I paying this? And they were like, oh, because it's VAT. And when they know it's not oh, VAT. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, well, that, that's on the vlog where we all yeah. recorded that. It kicked off at them because like, they thought she was paying for something that she shouldn't be. <laughs> yeah. I'm always doing embarrassing yeah. things. And thinking the sun and the moon's the same thing. I did... Um, I was going to the hairdressers one day on a very busy road and because I was rushing to get there because George, I was already there having my hair done and I'm tottering down this street in my little heels and there was loads of cars beside us. <laughs> and I just went um, flat on my face, <laughs> tripped over my skirt, backside up in the air, lying on the floor, trying my best not to cry because I'd really hurt myself. <laughs> With all these cars and everyone looking at us. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Went into the hairdresser, so oh, me arm bleeding and everything. Oh, uh, yeah, I remember. Yeah. <laughs> what was your one. most embarrassing thing? Mine. The only one I could think of was when I got dressed up as a woman on holiday and you cried. I did that. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it did, and she still has nightmares about it now. <laughs> it's a, it's a scene he did, put another woman's bra on his face. It's comfy. The skirt, skirt was and really even fancy. that's creepy. No, uh, nothing wrong with people dressing Denise, up. Denise spies, spies a new blouse or top or skirt or something along with that fit me. <laughs> what was no. more worrying is that he didn't want to take it off at the end of the night. <laughs> None of us did. We all just walked about dressed like women. It was dead comfy. No, there's know the... nothing wrong with like <laughs> dressing up as a different person like you want to dress up as, but that was creepy seeing Dad dressed. That that's was comfy. Just... The it was air got up, not you know. Nice. So she was only five at the time. I don't know. So what's your most embarrassing thing, Georgia? <laughs> and dead, actually, no. Actually, friend. no. I don't think Georgia should say most embarrassing. Yeah. Because she's gonna go back to school. Oh yeah. So <laughs> just in case, <laughs> yeah. So we'll leave Georgia out of that one. <laughs> yeah. Uh. So yeah, that's it. What's your most embarrassing thing that you've ever done? It would be great to hear this. <laughs> so whatever it is, we'll have, we'll have a laugh. We're all friends here. So, um, yeah. But thanks for popping by. Anyway, we'll catch you all very soon. Uh, probably tomorrow. You know, bump a day. On your deal. On my deal. Yes, thank you. I nearly forgot about that. Yeah. So, bye for now. Anyway. Bye. <laughs>